there's anybody quite working um, like them in the country. Lots of people use elements of their work. I mean, video and moving images is maybe not uh, unique, but I think it's their whole approach to work. It's how uh, the fact that once you walk into the exhibition, um, it's interactive, but you have no choice but to be interactive. Irish kids at the time, both Anne and, and myself, we were, because we were quite good at science, we were encouraged to do science and discouraged to do art. I probably had a quite a classical notion of, of, of what art is when we moved to Paris and um, we spent a lot of time uh, in museums. At a certain point I think uh, we both got quite disillusioned with, with the art world and that, you know, it's vanity and it's pretentiousness really I think. Two years ago, an opportunity came up to pitch for the Ireland at Venice, the Venice Biennale 2012. We got the whole team together, the scientists uh, in Dublin, in Paris, in Harvard and in London. And um, we made a pitch. We, weren't we were shortlisted. We weren't successful. But it was the scientists who said after the show that this is too good to let go. You should keep doing this. So we did. And here we are. In family. That the next time myself and Michael are going to have to go to the ECB uh, and look at things afresh, we bring Vincent with us. We've always been interested in, in how we, people look at art and how, you know, that whole notion of spectatorship. And um, so when we met our this, the scientists that are, we worked with on this project who were involved in visual perception, that connected very, very strongly with our the whole notion of looking at art. As you know, we work with computers a lot. They're, they're uh, quiz kids on computers. They, uh, they know all about cameras, they know all about um, uh, uh, the technology we're working with. So we were complementary, but we also uh, uh, immediately understood what we were talking about, although they'd never really thought about contemporary art before, you know, and yet it didn't, it didn't seem alien to them. I do think that people, when they come to the exhibition, will begin to reflect that maybe not everything is as it seems, that a straight line can be a crooked line, a dot can move. I'd like them to take a little bit of the delight in looking at things, in colour and movement, and just how fantastic that is, that we see. It could be something that would be about self-discovery, uh, that it also could be something that's just about quite light-hearted amusement, if that's what you like to do as well. And that beyond that, that there's a whole body of, of scientific ideas and artistic ideas that you can, you can wade as far into as you want to.